Don't miss the breakout action film of the year, Triple Threat, a high-octane action-adventure martial arts thriller. The film stars world martial arts champion Jason the Phenom Sterling as Agent Kieran Richards, who is double-crossed while trying to thwart a drug and terrorist operation. Co-stars include Andre China McCoy from The Matrix and Robert Parham from Buster Jones. Hollywood film veteran Eddie Morales from The Pit Fighter will play the leading villain. Supporting cast includes Richard Hackworth and Fred Parks from the World Martial Arts TV show. And introducing the lovely Laura Castro. The film star Jason Sterling said, Martial arts films of today are missing just that, martial arts. There will be no wire work, stunt doubles, or CGI animated characters. Everything you see will be the real thing. So don't miss it. And visit www.triplethreat.theactionmovie.info. Hi, my name is Grandmaster Gregory Glover, and I'm the Executive Director of the United States National Taekwondo Association. And this is your lesson for today. Turn to a left front stance, execute a left low block. Right front kick, landing back into a left back stance, execute a left double fist block. Turn into a right front stance, execute a right low block. Left front kick into a right back stance, executing a right double fist block. Step into a left front stance, execute a right knife in block. Right round kick and key up, step into a left front stance, execute a left outside rising block, right middle punch, right front kick, landing in a front stance and left middle punch. Turn into a right front stance, execute a right outside rising block, left middle punch, left front kick into a front stance, and right middle punch. Turn back into a ready stance position with arms crossed, lowering them down slowly into an open block. Step into a right front stance, execute a left knife hand block. Left round kick. Turn into a right front stance, execute a right low block. Left front kick, landing back into a right back stance, execute a right double fist block. Turn into a left front stance, executing a left low block. Right front kick back into a left back stance, execute a left double fist block. Stepping back into a left back stance, execute a left double knife hand block. Stepping back into a right back stance, execute a right double knife hand block. Stepping back into a left front stance, execute a left push block and right middle punch. Stepping back into a right front stance, execute a right push block and left middle punch. Return to borrow. Begin in Chumbi. Turn into a left front stance, execute a left low block. Right front kick, landing back into a left back stance, execute a left double fist block. Turn into a right front stance, execute a right low block. Left front kick, landing back into a right back stance, execute a right double fist block. Step into a left front stance, execute a right knife hand block. Right round kick, key up. Stepping into a left front stance, execute a left outside rising block with right middle punch. Execute a right front kick, landing in front stance with left middle punch. Turn into a right front stance, executing a right outside rising block with left middle punch. Execute a left front kick with right middle punch. Turn back into a raised stance position with arms crossed, slowly lowering into an open block. Step into a right front stance, execute a left knife hand block. Left round kick. Turn into a right front stance, execute a right low block. Left front kick, landing back into a right back stance, execute a right double fist block. Turn into a left front stance, executing a left low block. Right front kick, landing back into a left back stance, execute a left double fist block. Stepping back into a left back stance, execute a left double knife and block high. 
Turning back into a right back stance, execute a right double knife and block high. Stepping back into a left front stance, execute a left push block, right middle punch. Stepping back into a right front stance, execute a right push block and left middle punch. Return to bar open. Taekwondo training, fellowship, and spirit. The U.S. National Taekwondo Association is your link to the traditional Taekwondo of Korea. We offer both national and world certifications. Our mission is to provide a fraternal organization for the promotion and preservation of Taekwondo as a martial art. We strive to service all needs of the traditional stylist from the highest level grandmaster to the beginner student. Enjoy the many benefits we offer. Grade and black belt certifications, instructor and master instructor courses, tournament insurance, success seminars, state, national, and international competitions, business support, martial arts supplies, monthly e-newsletter, and private training tours of Korea. Not only do we teach the best techniques, but Korean philosophy as well. We develop the complete mind, body, and spirit philosophy. Visit www.usnta.net to join today. Grandmaster Fred Parks with your Tong Sudo Lesson of the Week, sponsored by KoreaTongSudo.org. I'm Grandmaster Fred Parks. Today our lesson will be based on each elbow. The first several moves of it uh, are commonly misunderstood. We'll go through the application after we demonstrate the technique and assist me will be one of our students. Uh, Travis, come over. Yes, sir. Traditionally, what it's thought is we're in a ready position for each other elbow. The very first move is a down block to block a kick. And I, how many people are going to block a kick with a hand? So in reality, this is actually a throw. 
I'm going to turn, we'll walk through it, then I will explain it. As <clears throat> Travis moves in toward me, he's going to grab, he cut, his arms come up, he's coming both hands. I'm going to reach over, grab it here, and I'm going to roll him away. So what most people think is if Travis were to throw a kick, front snap kick with this, in reality, we're not teaching that. That is a misconception that most people do not understand. Most black belts, the teaching Taksu Do and other styles of martial arts that use this form, do not know. Again, I'm going to turn. Travis is coming in with both hands. He grabs. I'm going to reach up and grab it here. I'm going to grab his elbow, and I'm going to roll into a block. What it looks like was a block. If you're interested in watching more, stay tuned for further segments of uh, World Martial Arts TV and TV show. Thank you for tuning in for another segment on World Martial Arts TV, the Tonksudo segment. Today we're going to talk about a foot step or a crescent step and the application of that, of this technique. And I'm going to ask one of our students, Travis Wise, to please come in. Yes, sir. Let me get you right here, Travis. You would, sir. Right facing me. The application of the technique, we're going to use a crescent step, and the crescent step is like a sound. It comes in, crescent, out. What is happening here as the leg comes in, if Travis attempts to throw a front snap kick to the groin, I can block it. The application, Travis steps in to that side. I'm going to step in and over, and I'm going to take my knee on the inside of his knee and for disrupted balance. Stepping back, a little bit faster, trap. So I'm protecting myself and again I'm going to protect my groin from a front snap kick up with his knee. This is another technique that sometimes is missed. It's not taught in a lot of styles of martial arts. We do like to do this in Tom so Again, it's the crescent step. Thank you, Travis. Thank you for watching World Martial Arts TV and your hockey Tongsudo segment. Thank you for viewing another segment of our Tongsudo uh, portion of the World Martial Arts t uh, TV. Today we're going to talk about a block, uh, two blocks, high block, low block, uh, application and a technique. There are two applications to a block. The first one, if we're doing a low block, we're defending anything from our abdomen down. And if we're doing a high block, we're defending from our face up. So I'm going to borrow one of our students, Travis Wise. Please come in, Travis. Sir. You'll step right over here. OK, I'm going to step back just a little bit. And traditionally, what's taught is it's Travis throws a snap kick. And we're saying we're in one of our previous segments, we actually demonstrated what this was. But for practical purposes this time, we're defending something low. I'm going to step back. And the other side, he's going to take a punch with his left hand. I'm going to high block. Then I can count. So I'm protecting my face from the neck up, and I'm protecting mid, mid abdomen down. So two things we've talked we've talked about now: high block from the face up, low block from the abdomen, middle of the abdomen down, from your belly button down. And other hints from. Tong Sudo on here on World Martial Arts TV. Thank you for viewing World Martial Arts TV and your Tong Sudo segment. Today we're going to talk a little bit about a two-handed grab to the collar. And, and again, Travis Wise will be assisting me. And what Travis is going to do, he's mad at me. He comes up and he grabs. Now this is just pretty much a traditional Tong Sudo karate if you're Japanese, I'm going to just come over and down. Now from here I've got whatever I want to do, technique, but backing up in slow motion, he grabs, I'm coming over, I'm locking his hands in, dropping him down, changing his center of gravity, then from there I can do whatever I want to do, punch him in the face, elbow, so I've disabled him as an aggressor. Thank you, Travis. Again, thank you for viewing World Martial Arts TV and your Tong Sudo segment.
Up next, we have a special treat today, a sword lesson with Professor Michael McGann. Okay, at this time I'd like to show you two different uh, defenses from an overhead downward cut. Okay, as you start to move in with the cut, go ahead. I'm going to stand here at a 45 degree angle, okay. As you complete your cut, I'm stepping around and head to capitation, okay. So one more time. You're coming in, you're going to meet at a 45 degree angle, and then cut, okay. Now you try it. Okay, now again, to see where the, <laughs> the dark, you want to have the pinky finger covering up the tip and right where your suba would be is where you want the other, okay. Now as I come in from here, you're going to bring at a 45 degree angle and coming down, okay. Now what I want you to do is, if you notice that when you're coming down from here, I'm stepping around with that back leg. So if I stay here and drop, you can cut my leg. Boom. Okay? That's not going to do me any good. So I've got to time it when you're coming down for cut here, and then downward. Okay? Okay. So when I come down from here, you're going to step and then strut. Good. Okay. The second defense against a downward cut, you're coming in. I'm going to stand here and pull and then step behind. Okay, so what I'm doing from here, as you're bringing the blade up, I'm rushing in, hitting, pulling across, cutting the abdomen, and then taking the head off as you fall forward. Okay, so again, as I'm coming up here, strike, pull across, and then as I fall forward, head decapitation. Go ahead and do a downward cut from here, okay? Uh, now, first of all, let's get proper position. Good. Okay, now, as you're coming in to cut, I'm stepping in. I'm moving the blade out. I'm coming in between your hands, taking the katana away from you from here and cut it, okay? Now, let's try that same thing from this angle here. Again, you're coming in. I'm meeting from here, stepping, taking away from here and cut. It was easier to grab because there was a part from here, okay? Now, let's try that same technique from this angle here. Okay, again, you're coming in here. And cut. Here. The next defense from Muto is go ahead and get into the Chudan no Kamai position. Okay, you're going to do a horizontal cut. As you start to do that horizontal cut, I'm going to stand in and jam up your arm and grabbing the handle from here. Pulling it from you, I'm going to step back, cut once, and cut twice. Okay? The same thing from this position here. Again, I'm coming in, flowing from here, pulling it out, strike, strike. Okay? From, uh, Let's see, this angle here, okay? You're coming in, jamming, pulling it back, strike, strike, and then from here. Always, no matter what you do, always have the blade pointed when you finish at the opponent, whether he's on the ground, and then later on you'll be able to do chibiri, the blood flick, and then, you know, returning it back to the seiya. Okay, from here. From Hendersonville, North Carolina, I present you with the one, the only, Aikido, Hapkido, and Yusu Korean Jiu Jitsu master, Darren the Dragon Norris. Martial arts weapon master, Darren Norris, expert at the arts, technique is the purest, flowing like a river cause he moves like water, two sons Shane and Tommy, a proud father, hair 
yelling drum Henderson in the North Carolina Beautiful wife Sandy Staying right beside him He's deadly Put you in submission He'll make you dizzy From elbows and knees That he brings Keep switching His sons are instructors And both of them black belts You in a tight situation Call them for help The martial arts king Of North Carolina Moves at the speed of light It might be hard to find him Energy flowing from his fingertips And you better run fast Or you might get kicked The dragon is his name So you better beware This is the real life street There's no rules to play fair Uh, Darren Norris, the dragon Uh, you know you better beware So now, uh, we have learned some ways that two blocking groups, these two blocking groups were called the Masters Camping Group. And uh, as far as Grandmaster Hackworth has been able to discern, these are the only two blocking techniques we've talked about that are taught in our camp. So let's move on to some techniques. They're a little more fun. The block, the angles of the tack, I can't stress how important that is. Because if you will seriously look at your training, it doesn't matter what style it is, what you are training to do is to defend against attacks coming from those two angles. And how do you think you move depending on which angle the stride is coming in? So pay attention to those angles. The first technique is just a punch. You want to try to step all the punch in the face. So when he does, This is called a cross trick. I'm just flicking this over his arm. My other hand comes up and gets it. But it's here. The first time I wanted you to wash my hands so I did not move off the line. Trust me, you want to move off the line. So the second time, I am moving at this 45 degree angle. Most people have two arms and two feet. If I don't move off the line, he's going to use the other. So I'm going to take one and go and make the other. All of them are moving. Okay. Be gentle because this hurts much more than he's putting on. He was born, at, or when he was born, he didn't talk. <laughs> so he's not screaming right now because he has no vocal cords. But do he, it, it does hurt. Be gentle. Be gentle at least the first one. 